There is no shortage of dynamic duos that seem to be just unstoppable. And in this video, I'm going to look at one of the most, if not the most underrated draft duos in college football in Michael Carter and Javante Williams. On to Carter, breaking tackles, Michael Carter in the open field. They will go with Williams, left side, breaks a tackle into the end zone. Straight out of Chapel Hill, there is an insanely talented running back duo in Michael Carter and Javante Williams. In all of the talk I've heard surrounding the draft, I don't think I've ever heard either of their names mentioned, and that's why we're here. Not only are these guys good, but they're top 5 running back prospects good, and that's why I'm so surprised that I've heard nothing about them. So without any further ado, let's just get into this. Michael grew up at the top of the Florida Panhandle in Navarre, and did his thing, as you guessed it, at Navarre High School. Although super talented, Michael wasn't able to showcase his talent until his junior season. And after starting off the season hot with over 500 yards and 9 touchdowns, an injury in the third game of the season ended his insane junior campaign. With only one more shot in high school, Michael just went off with over 2,500 yards rushing and 45 total touchdowns as he was named the Florida Offensive Player of the Year by USA Today. As a borderline 4 star, Michael received attention from schools like FIU, Colorado, Cincinnati, Florida, and the Tar Heels and NC. As a true freshman in North Carolina, Michael was able to have an impact from the get-go with over 550 yards and 8 touchdowns. Following such a solid freshman year, Michael replicated his success as a sophomore with once again over 550 yards rushing and 2 rushing touchdowns as he was just making his way up the roster. As a junior, Michael was able to do his thing with over 1,000 rushing yards and 3 rushing touchdowns as he was named 3rd team All-ACC at the RB2 spot only behind players like AJ Dillon and Kate Carney. Going into his senior year, Michael wanted to prove himself, and he did just that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A house call on first and 25! Javante grew up in Wallace, North Carolina, a little old town with a population under 4,000, and as a result, the only way to make his way to the FBS was to go off, and he sure did that. As a senior, Javante rushed for over 2,200 yards and 27 touchdowns as he received his one and only FBS offer by North Carolina. As a true freshman, Javante was able to rush for over 200 yards and 5 touchdowns as he began his college football journey. The following season as a sophomore, Williams shared the backfield with Carter and rushed for 900 yards and 5 touchdowns. Pretty dang good for a sophomore, but only at the beginning. Going into 2020, Williams played like he had something to prove as he just went off. Javante Williams breaks a tackle, breaks another to the goal line! With both Javante and Michael only getting better and better, 2020 was bound to be a ridiculous year for the duo, and it was. To start off the year, the two did their thing against Syracuse, with Michael rushing for nearly 80 yards on only 7 carries, and Javante rushing for over 55 yards and 3 touchdowns as North Carolina rolled over the Oranges. Against Boston College, Javante somehow had exactly the same amount of rushing yards with 57 on the ground and a touchdown, to go along with over 120 on the other side by Michael. Once again, North Carolina won in a back and forth effort 26-22. The matchup against number 19 ranked Virginia Tech would seem to be a rough game for the two, but was instead quite the opposite as Javante rushed for nearly 170 yards and two touchdowns, and upon that Michael had over 210 yards on the ground and two touchdowns, as the two combined for over 380 yards and four touchdowns in total. Looking at these stats, I honestly don't know how they even did it. But as you can guess, the game was super high scoring as North Carolina won 56-45. Against Florida State, it was Javante's time to shine as he rushed for nearly 120 yards and a touchdown. On the other side, Michael had over 65 yards as the Tar Heels received their first loss in a nail-biter 31-28. Dang! That's tough. Following such a heartbreaking loss to Florida State, the two ran over their rival on NC State with over 100 yards and a touchdown by Michael, and 100 yards and 3 touchdowns by Javante. Once again, the duo was just unstoppable as North Carolina demolished the Wolfpack 48-21. The following game against Virginia, the two struggled as Michael was limited to under 65 and Javante under 55 on the ground, and only a touchdown between the two as the team lost in the shootout 44-41. Although the two had rough games against Virginia, they were back on track against Duke as Michael rushed for 85 yards and a touchdown and Javante just went off with over 150 yards and 3 touchdowns as they destroyed Duke 56-24. 
for my day! Even though they were- Oh my god! Following their stellar showcase against the Blue Devils, the two played well against Wake Forest with over 50 yards by Michael and 100 yards and a touchdown by Javante, as the team won in a surprising back and forth battle 59-53. After a string of great performances by the two, it seems like they found their kryptonite against Notre Dame as Michael rushed for under 60 yards and Javante wasn't even able to pass 30 yards as they lost 31 to 17. Following their toughest matchup of the year, the two were given a softball against Western Carolina as they didn't even need to play that much at all as Javante carried the ball three times for eight yards and touchdown. And in only eight carries, Michael had over 70 yards on the ground and three rushing touchdowns. After putting together one of the best years by a running back duo in college football history, the two had one less game against Miami and they just balled out. Against the number 10 ranked Miami Hurricanes, the two made history as they probably had the best game of any running back duo in the entirety of college football. Against the Hurricanes, Javante rushed for over 230 yards and three touchdowns. Not only did Javante just go absolutely insane, but Michael had an even better game than Williams with over 300 yards and two touchdowns. Honestly, the two had the best game I've ever seen by duo in college football history. After ending the season on about the highest note imaginable, the two launched their draft stock to the moon. Michael rushed for over 1,200 yards and 9 touchdowns, and Javante had over 1,100 yards on the ground and 19 rushing touchdowns as the two were both AP All-Americans, as Javante was named to the second team and Michael to the third. The fact that two, honestly top five running backs in all of college football were on the same team is just absolutely insane, and Carter and Williams are likely to go down as one of the best running back duos in college football history. After putting on a showcase in 2020, the two declared for the NFL Draft and are both top 5 running back prospects, with Javante only behind Najee and Etienne, and Michael just behind the three. Javante and Michael dominated college football as the, one of the best duos of all time, and now that they had their chance to dominate once again, I can't wait to see what's next for the duo. The pitch, and over the end zone, bang Adds to his total, he's just banging into people still going, he's just having fun tonight, he's still Thanks to everyone who watched the video. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like, and comment what videos you want next. But anyways, see you guys soon and peace out.